All right, welcome back. Here we are looking at this Cub Cadet Z Force. Now, I did a few videos way back in March, April. That was a different Z Force, same model, just not the same mower. This one here, I did talk about a few videos ago about what came in this week, and I'm finally getting back to working on it now. And the problem with this is the previous owner said that they had trouble with it moving, like maybe one of the hydros was going bad. And then they saw a lot of oil leaking. And by the time I got to getting it to, to look at it for them, they decided they were going to replace it because they had already had it about 19 years. And it's actually in really good condition. I did put a PTO clutch on it for them about three years ago, three or four years ago. They had it at a, a local dealer. Maybe the one they bought it from, I can't remember. And, uh, you know, they had some problems with it not working right. And the dealer started throwing some parts at it. And, you know, he told me what they put on. And I was thinking that that wasn't the right repair for what problem he had. And he took it back twice. And every time he took it back, his problem actually got worse until he finally brought it to me and uh, by that time it was it was a lot easier to figure out the problem because as soon as you would turn on the deck the PTO switch it would blow the fuse so that you know that made it a lot easier to figure out what was going on and it was just a bad PTO but right now what we're going to do here is put a uh, oil seal in the bottom of the engine the crankshaft seal because that was leaking it actually came out and uh was getting his belts all full of oil so that's what we're going to be doing in this video so let's see how it goes so the first thing we're going to do here we're going to release this tensioner and this is for the pto belt this will make it easier to get the clutch the uh the belt off the clutch so now we got that belt out of the way now I'm going to take off the bolt here and lower that clutch down lower that clutch down then we have to unplug the wire I like when they come off easy. It's not easy to put a puller or anything on these. You have to fight them off. Now, it'd be nice if I had something to sit this on. There is usually a little latch on here that you have to get. And just like that, it pops apart. All right. A lot of grass in here. That oil was helping to collect all the grass. Now we have to get the drive belt off. And it should come right apart. Ah, okay. I can just pull on the belt and get it off the pulley. It's going to be a different story putting it back on, though. I am going to release the spring up here. That's just going to make it a lot easier, and I have to do that to put it back together anyway. So this spring right here is the tensioner for the drive belt pulley. 
So we're going to attempt to take this off. I found that using another spring works pretty good. Because vice grips, you can grab maybe the, the end of it here. But having a, a really thin wire like this lets you get it right off of something like that. You can even use the other end maybe for better reach. So that's what I like to use when I need to. So now I should be able to get the dry belt off of there. Hopefully this pulley will slide right off. Nope. No such luck. So I will have to work on that a little bit, trying to get that loose. Well, I'm going to have to spray that a little bit and let it soak and come back to it. Okay, we're getting back to this crankshaft seal. Need to try and get the pulley off. It's been soaking overnight with PB Blaster. See if it gives up. Not so easy, not yet. A puller is going to be about a last resort on this. And these pulleys are really not made to have pullers put on them. Just when I thought it was moving, it's not. Well, I'm going to attempt to tap on this and see if I can get it to move it maybe a little. Maybe it's down and it'll go up a little bit. To at least try and break it loose. can't tell if it moved or not really doesn't look like it moved and it doesn't seem like it plans on moving This may be a deal where the engine has to come out. I guess we're going to soak this some more, especially on top. Guess I might as well see if I can order a new pulley for it, because I think this one's going to be destroyed before it comes off. All right, well, I've got very little expectation that this is going to work. And by the time you're putting the puller 
on a pulley like this, you've already resigned to the fact that you need a new pulley. Because I really think what's going to happen is it's just going to just going to roll the edges of the pulley and not really move anything. If the threads are good enough on this screw to even go up that high. See if we can get this lined up better here. This is one of those deals where if you weren't recording, that would come right off. For some reason, it doesn't look like it's lined up straight. It's getting tight, which is good and bad. Let's see if I can shock it a little bit here. Maybe straighten it out. Or not. Well, it looks like I may need to uh, acquire a bearing separator to get up above here to pull it down because uh, this pulley is just too flimsy for all the, the pressure in the center that the hub has. So I'm gonna have to uh, go find some more tools and we'll get back to this. All right, we're gonna give this another shot here. I got another tool, a bearing puller. And there you can see what happened when I tried to pry on that pulley. That wasn't a good idea and I knew it at the time. But I was just hopeful that it would come off. So let's get this set up and see what happens. I'm going to put some grease on this, these threads because it feels a little rough. And I'm sure some of you are saying, oh, why don't you just put some heat on it? Well, I'm not a big fan of heat with all this oil around here and this oil soaked grass. So yeah, granted, I could wash it off, but I really wanted to be able to put the seal in it without going through all that. Or at least get it apart and make sure that the seal is gonna fix the problem. But I may have to take it somewhere and get it heated up. But I really don't, not a big fan of putting heat on stuff like this. Not when it's inside a machine. Although, yeah, it's not gonna hurt the seal anymore.
No, this is turning out to be one of them videos of what not to do. I think I should turn that puller around the other way. Now that it'll fit in there the other way. That way there's no taper on it. Well, let's see what happens. This is hard on the neck, holding your head up like this. Oh. I lifted the, lifted the mower up higher so it would be easier to get the camera in here. Now it's harder to reach. Did the nut go? I'll be out of commission here if I don't find that nut. It's up here in all this grass somewhere. Have to open it up so the threads, the little rods can fit around the pulley here. I got it pulled in a little bit too close. one see if this one fits there we go alright Hammer time. Sometimes this sort of thing makes all the difference. Well, I heard something. Probably it wasn't anything 
that's going to help me though. No, I don't think so. Something got easier. Well, it turns out that that something that got easier was that aluminum nut that I should not have been using because now the shaft from that puller is trying to go inside the threads on the shaft on the engine, which I'm going to have to repair those threads to make it usable again. I think it finally gave up. I might have broke that nut I have in the center. I think that's what was given up. Seems like I was threaded into the crankshaft, maybe. Or I was starting to get stuck in there, maybe. Yeah, that ain't good. That's not what we wanted to happen. Hopefully that crankshaft is saveable. We'll see. I think I might have to run a tap in there. Looks like. Clean that up a little bit. Hopefully I have one. It's a little big for the sets I have. If I can get the right angle here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run a tap in there. All right. Yeah, it's a little damaged. But I think that's gonna be savable. Unlike the pulley. That's just gone. This ought to work better to pull against. Let's see if we can cut to the chase here. Well, that don't like turning that, does it? supposed to happen.
Oh, that is tight. Very, very tight. Well, I think that's where we're going to let this video at for now. We're going to leave that torqued up and let it think about what it's going to do. But we're going to leave that torqued up and let it think about what it's doing to me while I take a four-day camping weekend. And we'll uh, maybe continue this in another video. I'm not sure. So, yeah, I think I'm going to try and have a continuation video where this actually gets repaired. Uh, I'm going to try. There may be things happening to this that should not be recorded. So we're going to wait and see what happens.